crack a -lack and everybody, your boy Bongo's back and today we are at Camp Bell. And guys, you already know the vibes. If you're camping, you have to make some s'mores. So today we are making a DIY giant s'mores yay. Put on your head top and it is going to be the biggest, baddest s'mores you have ever seen. To get started on making your DIY giant s'mores, obviously we are going to have to make a few components. A graham cracker, a marshmallow, a little bit of a chocolate vibe in the middle. So, to get our DIY giant s'mores started, obviously we have to start with the mm, 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 honey graham cracker. What we need to get this recipe started is two cups of whole wheat flour. Graham crackers are made with whole wheat flour. So boom, here's our first cup. Two cups of flour. Next up in the bowl, guys, what we need to add is a little bit of baking soda. One teaspoon to be specific. Yay! We need a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yay! And finally, guys, we need one teaspoon of cinnamon. Yay! All right, guys, once we have all our dry ingredients in our bowl, what we want to do is stir them together. Now, I'm using a fork. If you have a whisk, it works way better. Your boy's balling on a budget, and I couldn't find a whisk. So here we go with the fork. Once you have mixed your dry ingredients together, we can now start working with our butter, our sugar, and our wet ingredients. And guys, today, our videos are going to be way much better because I now have a mixture. So you see the vibe we're gonna be making the dough in the mixer vibes. So the first thing we want to be putting in the mixer is one cup of light brown sugar and a half cup of butter. We got the light brown sugar, you guys see the vibes, okay? You see the golden yellow sugar vibes, okay? It's golden, it's yellow, just like the jewels. We're gonna pour in the sugar just like that. It's okay, guys, if we're making a little mess, we'll clean it up in a bit. Holy smokes, I made a giant mess. All right, pack it down, pack it down. I grab some of the sugar and put it in anyway. You see the vibes. Okay, so guys, once we have one cup of sugar, we can go ahead and like put that into our mixer. Guys, smash the like button for the mixer. You see the vibe. We need a half cup of softened butter. Now you guys, you see how soft it is, right? It's soft like a baby's bucket. We're gonna grab a half cup of this butter. Holy smokes. And like two words. In the mixer it goes. Oh, Bob. All right, so once we have the sugar, holy smokes. Like, make sure you take the entire wrapper off the things. Once we have the sugar and the butter in the mixer, we can go ahead and lower this guy and like slowly start mixing all the products together. We have been mixing the sugar butter combination for about two minutes. As you guys can see, we have a nice butter sugar paste. So we can go ahead and turn this mixer off now. You see how it is no longer sugar and butter. It is now a sugar buttery mixture. So what we can now do guys is slowly start to add in our dry mix. I'm gonna slowly add this guy in here. Just like so. All right, get all the vibes in there. Now with our mixer, we can lower this guy and guys slowly start to mix all of these items together. We wanna mix this for about five minutes or so. So we will see you guys in five minutes. We have been mixing it for about five minutes. I let it rest and it's time to add our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put a third of a cup of honey. Guys, you see the vibes. We got our local honey over here. We don't play no games, all right? We're not importing nothing. We got the local honey. You see the honey vibes. So we need about a third cup of this guy here. Yeah. Oh, that's a lab. We need three tablespoons of whole milk. One, two, threes. And now we need two teaspoons of vanilla. One and two. Like two words. Begin mixing. Yay! Slowly start that off, guys. And you'll see the wet ingredients start blending in with the dry ingredients, creating a dough vibe. But we're gonna let this mix for another two to three minutes until it's nice and fluffy. All right, so we've mixed our entire batter. Let's take a look at this guy. Oh, we do have a nice dough vibe. So what I'm gonna do, guys, lightly flour my countertop, right? I'm gonna try to grab the entire dough here. Okay, okay, so here we go with our graham cracker doughs. We can roll it up. Oh, please don't stick. Please don't stick. No! We need more flour. Dig. Okay, what we want to do, guys, is make it into a ball. All right. Now, we are vibing. What we want to do is with some saran wrap, guys. Ah! Like so. And grab your ball. Now, put them in a saran wrap ballas. Make sure you are wrapping your entire dough. Holy smokes. 
Now, we wanna put this guy in the fridge for about an hour. Now, you guys see how I have it all wrapped up in this special CIA saran wrap. So now I'm gonna put it into the fridge for an hour, guys, and we're gonna let this dough rest. Now that we have our graham cracker dough in the fridge, it is getting nice and chilly. We can start working on our marshmallow. Now, guys, to do a DIY giant s'mores, obviously we need to do a giant marshmallow. So we are gonna be constructing the marshmallow from scratch. But to get this marshmallow started obviously what we need is a mold now I got the biggest most marshmallow looking thing in my kitchen it is a nice plastic container nice and hard but first we need to create a vibe for our mold before we even get started guys once we start working with the marshmallow we have to act fast so we got to get everything prepped first starting with the mold so here we go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab big dusty pieces of aluminum foil what I want to do here is mold the inside of the container, leaving a flap on the outside. That way I can pick up the marshmallow after. So here we go, get in there, use your hands so that it is shaping the container perfectly. Also guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of parchment paper as well. And voila, look at this guys. We have a nice mold for our marshmallow. Now that we have a nice wrapped container, we are ready to start working on the marshmallow itself. So, what we need to get the marshmallow started is our handy dandy mixer. And we need some gelatin. So here we go with this gelatin. We're gonna need two and a half tablespoons of gelatin, but we need a half cup of water. So I'm gonna put a half cup of water into my mixer. All right, now here's the first teaspoon of gelatin. Boom, we need a second one. All right, and we need a half. So here we go. I'm just gonna use the half pack here. Now, we're gonna let that guy sit in here for about 10 to 15 minutes. While that guy is sitting in here, we can actually get started on our sugar mixture. What we need is half a cup of water. So we're gonna put that right into a saucepan like so. We have two cups of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt in this bowl. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna put it right in the middle of the bowl, all right? And we need a third of a cup of some corn syrup. What you guys now wanna do once you have all the ingredients in your saucepan, turn on the heat to a medium high range, all right? Not too high, not too low. I'm putting at six and a half. Now, we are gonna wait for this to start boiling, but also guys, you see the gadget vibes, all right? We have our electronic thermometer because this is gonna be crucial. We can't let this get out of hand. We need to make sure that it is 240 degrees. So we're gonna watch this like a hawk and make sure we're not going over. Now guys, I know it will be tempting for you to want to stir this, but you don't actually wanna stir this, all right? You just wanna give it a nice little mix like this and then put it right back on the heat. We are currently running at about 180, 192, all right, so we still need about 50 more degrees, but it is starting to bubble all around the edges like you guys can see. All right, we still got a little bit to go, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, we are three degrees away from 240. I did set my mark at 238 so that I don't screw up, but I've been watching it like a hawk. Okay, we're almost there, guys, 239. And it's about 240 now, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna take it off the heat a little bit. What I'm gonna do here is lower my mixer and start slowly mixing this gelatin together. And now guys, we can take our syrup and be super, super duper careful when you're doing this, all right? Slowly start to put your sugar mixture in. Make sure you're putting your entire sugar mixture. But it would be super, super hot right now, guys. So be careful. Now guys, we wanna whisk this in the blender for about 12 minutes, all right? Slowly start to increase the speed here. So here we go at three, a little bit faster at four. And it does smell like absolute dookie to start. Don't fear, it is supposed to smell like dookie. All right guys, so I have the mixer at the highest speed. Now we are gonna continue whisking this bad boy for 12 minutes, all right? All right, we've been mixing for about 10 minutes. We got about two minutes left. What I'm gonna add now is about two tablespoons of some vanilla just to give it that flavor. And we're gonna let it whisk up for another two to three minutes. All right guys, so we have whisked the marshmallow for about 12 minutes. I'm gonna turn it all the way down and remove 
the marshmallow goodness. Oh, baby. All right, so now that we have our mold, we gotta act fast. Guys, with some Pam, grab your Pam and go ham. Here. All right, now make sure you are spraying every little bit of your container so that you can avoid it sticking. Now, what you guys wanna do, you take this attachment off, get all of that marshmallow goodness off of the whisk. Oh. That's a vibe with our spatula. Give it a little pair, why not? Now, grab the marshmallow mixture and start grabbing it from the sides. It's gonna be one big dutty marshmallow. All right, in to the mold it goes. Here we go. Oh, nice. Yay, yay. Now grab all that marshmallowy goodness, chuck it into the mold. Make sure you're grabbing everything. Into the marshmallow it goes. Now guys, with the one, two shake and bake technique, form the marshmallow. So we get a nice big dutty one. Now we got a big giant marshmallow in here forming. Now. What I've done here is added a little bit of cornstarch and confectionery sugar, all right, which is just icing sugar. Now I'm gonna put a little bit here and just sprinkle it on the top of the marshmallow, just like so. Into the fridge our marshmallow goes. And we're gonna put that guy in there for about three hours. So boom, into the fridge, and like, now we wait. The marshmallow is cooling. We have left our dough in the fridge for about an hour and a half. It is ready to be taken out. Ooh, as you guys can see, it is a little bit more firm. What we wanna do is we wanna work with about half of it because we want two halves for two crackers. I have kind of outlined on my parchment paper how big I want each cracker to be. I do want them to be big and dutty. Now that we have our parchment paper, I can go ahead and grab a little bit of flour and just flour this guy up like so. Pat it into a little square. More flour, it's okay. Now guys, what we wanna do is with another piece of parchment paper, we wanna put it right on top of this guy. And now, we can go ahead and roll it. Now make sure it is nice and thin, but that we are respecting the size of the dough that we want. All right, let's pick up on this guy. See how we're doing in terms of shape. Okay, vibes, vibes, vibes. Now that we have our first cracker, what we wanna do is give it that graham cracker vibe. So, with a skewer, what I wanna do is go ahead and give it some dots as if it was a real graham cracker. You see the vibes? All right, cool. And now guys, with a knife, what we could do is score out exactly how we want this cookie to look. All right, so boom, there we go. Our first graham cracker is now complete. Once we have that complete, what we can do is move it onto a baking tray. So here we go, our first one onto the baking tray it goes. First cracker, you see the vibes, all right. So now we gotta do that with a second cracker, but with the power of editing, it will be done in just a second. And voila, here we go. We have our second graham cracker. We can put that into our tray, put these bad boys into the oven. So there goes one. Let's switch them up like this. Boom, one on top, one on the bottom. 15 to 20 minutes or until they get dark and hard. So we'll see you guys in a bit. The crackers have been in the oven for about 15 minutes. I left them in for an extra two minutes just because I switched them from the bottom rack to the top rack. But if they are nice and brown, they should be ready. And holy smokes, boys. Here we go. First graham cracker out. Second graham cracker, like two words, out. We're gonna leave them until they cool down to room temperature, turn off the oven so you don't light your house on fire. All right guys, so it has been a few hours since we got the marshmallows ready. We did take the graham cracker out of the oven and let's give it a nice noise test. I wanna see if it became hard or if it's still soft right out of the oven, but let's see what's going on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have the graham crackers ready to roll. They are vibing. We need to check on our marshmallow to also see if it's vibing. Boom, open. Fridge, marshmallow. Let's see. Hey! You see the marshmallow vibe. It's actually wavy. Is it hard though? Oh, oh, oh. It's a marshmallow. All right, so let's work with the marshmallow first before we actually go ahead and construct the DIY giant s'mores. We need a little bit of parchment paper. So we have our parchment paper. Now guys, remember that sugar cornstarch concoction we made earlier? What we wanna do is grab some of that, 
and put it all over our parchment paper like so. Spread it out nice and evenly. Let's see what the marshmallow is looking like. And guys, because we put all the aluminum foil, it should be relatively easy to take out. Oh, come on. All right, now we wanna peel the aluminum foil off first. Nice and slow. Don't rush it. Don't rush. Slow touch. Marshmallow on some dust. Boom. Boom. Oh, you see the marshmallow vibes. We got a nice, beautiful marshmallow patty. It is a little bit sticky. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the dust and we're gonna dust it all up like so. You see the vibes. Now, make sure it's all getting dusted. Oh, oh. Holy smokes, this is a vibe. This is a vibe. It's actually a DIY giant marshmallow vibes. And guys, when you dust it like this, it actually gives it that marshmallow feeling. This is insane. This is the first time I've ever made a marshmallow, but you see the vibe. All right, so here we go. We have a nice dutty marshmallow. Let's clean up a little bit so we can get to constructing. Okay, so to get our DIY giant s'mores ready, obviously we need the first graham cracker so here we go we're gonna grab the first one oh, hey. okay we're gonna put it right on the master chef board just like that it's vibing now obviously a major component to any s'mores is the chocolate and you know your boy bong was the baker's man we ain't playing around so we got bricks yeah we got bricks of that belgian all right extra creamy extra smooth extra delicious Let's see this Hey, one right there. Yo, bro, I come correct with the chocolate vibes. All right, now boom, we have our two pieces of chocolate and our graham cracker vibe. It is time, like two words. All right, now, more chocolate. Okay, now we're vibing. Now, we can put this guy up here and we're vibing. So far so good guys. You see the big dutty marshmallow right in the middle. We have bare chocolate, two DIY homemade graham crackers, but guys, like we need a fire and we don't really have a fire indoors guys. I know they, yeah. We gotta bring our own fire to the party. So we have this big dutty blowtorch, all right? Now what we wanna do is blowtorch that marshmallow. Let's see. Ew! We still need a little bit more work on the other side. All right, here we go. On the other side. Ew! Ew! Turn that bad boy off and let's take a look at our DIY giant s'mores yay now. Ew! Okay. You see the big dutty s'mores vibes. How is it looking, folks? Take a look. We have the burnt marshmallow vibes, the chocolate vibes, the graham cracker vibes. I think the only thing left to do is obviously to give this thing a big dutty bite. So like, let's get into the taste test. It is now our favorite time of the video, the taste test time. So let's just jump right into this bad boy. I don't know how I'm gonna pick it up. I'm pretty sure it might break. Oh my God, it didn't break. We can literally lift this up. This is incredible. I literally didn't think I was gonna be able to lift it. I thought it would break. Let's see if I can smush the marshmallow around a little bit. Ew, 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 hey, you see the vibes, guys. This is gonna go horribly wrong any second now, but like, oh, you see the melted marshmallow with the melted chocolate vibes? Okay, this is insane. Here we go. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but here goes nothing. Ah. Mm. Graham cracker. Chocolate combo is a vibe. Here we go. We're breaking it. All right, here we go. Ah. Ah. This is a vibe. Ah. God, I've literally, I've outdone myself. This is a banger. The marshmallow came out absolutely delicious. The graham cracker is actually a cracker. Listen to this. Mmm. But still nice and flaky. Like, look how flaky this is. This is a vibe. The marshmallow actually tastes like a marshmallow. And with the chocolate vibes, absolutely fantastic. And there it was guys, a DIY giant s'mores right from home. It actually turned out to be a banger. 
It tasted so delicious. The marshmallow came out so <laughs> delicioso. I hope you guys like today's Camp Bella activity. I personally did, and frankly, it is one of my favorite camp activities of all time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go down, smash that like button. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, take it easy. It's Bob Easy. <laughs>